<laughs> and the preparation of food was very different from the techniques used by the Aborigines. <laughs> there were no vegetables or fruit. <laughs> Between 1850 and 1855, Rotnest Prison was virtually closed. However, Thomas Vincent returned with 27 new prisoners in 1855 because of problems of keeping Aboriginals prisoners in the mainland. In 1856, the farm buildings, East Docks, and Barnum Prison were damaged by fire. The prison was located where the present shopping center is. A new prison was built by Thomas Vincent with his Aboriginal convicts and was completed in 1864. The octagonal building was situated behind the old chapel. Vincent retired in 1866 and was succeeded by a more humane Superintendent Captain William Jackson, who was superintendent for 17 years. Under Jackson, the Aboriginal prisoners of these were allowed to hunt crocus on Sundays. For Aboriginals, colonialism was a disaster. Blacks were treated in a paternalistic, discriminatory way. There was discriminatory policies on land, labor, and education alike. The blacks were denied land and citizenship rights, herded into reserves, paid minimal wages, if at all, and were subjected to draconian segregation and legal prohibition on their movement and intermarriage. In which these prisoners did. Following the closure of the prison in 1903, the Quad underwent a dramatic change. It was converted into a hostel to accommodate Rottnest holiday makers. Completed in 1864, the Quad was the second prison to be built on Rottnest after a fire had destroyed the original one. The plan indicates the functions of the various rooms and shows 29 small cells at the back of the building. Even in its days of operation, the Quad was infamous for its terrible conditions. The cells were no larger than by 2 by 3 meters and were at times occupied by five prisoners. The men slept on the floor with only a thin blanket to keep them warm. Cells had no furniture, sanitation, fireplace, nor windows. In these conditions, disease spread easily and claimed the lives of many men. With the discovery of Rottnest as a holiday island, the former prison building was given a new lease of life as a hostel the first 10 guest rooms were created in 1911 out of 20 prison cells. Three additional places were created in the perimeter. The design of the quad closely resembles that of the roundhouse in Fremantle, which was the first prison in WA. Construction work was mostly carried out by the prisoners. The limestone blocks used were obtained from a quarry that was later turned into lawn bowl area and then into a garden golf facility. One of the original prisons outdoors is displayed in the Rottnest Museum. Note a room labeled Day Ward Europeans. This room housed a small number a European convicts who were brought to Rottnest, specifically as skilled laborers. 
Charlie, I came from the lawyer gas point. I've been here for four months. I was sentenced to six months for staying in the pipe for Mr. Rarshaw. I picked up the pipe and gave it to the native policeman. I did not know to whom the pipe belonged. I do not like roughness. I'm sick of it. I've been sick. I do not eat much. I came in the steamer from Gascoigne and had a chain around my neck all the way to Champion Bay when it was taken off. I expect to go to my country soon. She'll be very glad. I sleep in a cell with three others. It's cold in winter. My blanket is old and no good. I have been a pearl diver and a horse rider for Mr. Brotman. I used to like diving, but do not now. I work in the garden and serve others. So large was the death rate that in 1884 a commission was appointed by the governor to inquire into the treatment of Aboriginal native prisoners in Rottnest. There's always a strong smell in the morning and some of the civilized natives have complained of it. The itch is very common among the natives and influenza and chest complaints are prevalent in the winter and the more severe the winter, the more deaths occur from chest infections. Some of the prisoners in 1886, mostly from the Northwest during a period of trouble, in for murder, hot robbing, disorderly conduct, cheap stealing, petty larceny, escaping from custody, the salt of a Chinaman, and cheap stealing. A museum display of a few artifacts from the original quad, such as a hole <coughs> for digging. Aboriginal prisoners built the majority of buildings <coughs> constructed in the 19th century on Rottnest. The oldest building of Rottnest Island is believed to be Cottage F and G, which was originally built as the prison superintendent's residence in 1841. Many of the other buildings still exist in the Thompson Bay settlement and were built between the 1840s and 1880s. They used mainly the island's natural resources, such as limestone, background is the building used for a bus reformatory for 20 years from 1881. Next to the prison, a boys reformatory. reformatory buildings have been used as visitor accommodation. In the early days of the colony, boys as young as eight were given prison sentences for offenses such as theft, vagrancy, and disorderly conduct. The reformatory for boys produced their own fruit and vegetables in gardens nearby. This plan shows the building and how it was modified over the years. A view of the Aboriginal burial grounds. There are actually no traces of the burials, no gravestones or crosses, nothing I could see, just the pathway. Between 1903 and 1984, the cemetery was unacknowledged. There was no recognition of the people buried here. It was used for other purposes, including recreational camping and an internment camp during the Second World War.